Hello, I'm Ryan Sachs, Superintendent of Cabell County Schools. Right now, I'm at the site of the former Enslow Middle School. About a year from now, this will be the site of the new High Lawn Elementary School. This school will be a state-of-the-art facility that is destined to provide Cabell County students world-class learning opportunities for generations to come. And at its new location, right on 3rd Avenue, the school will welcome all who enter the city of Huntington and clearly demonstrate how much we value children in America's best community. I want to begin this year's State of the School Address here because it is symbolic of the greater work being done in our school district. In addition to this impressive new school, we are also building a state-of-the-art, all-encompassing school district that puts students first. Cabell County is providing all students amazing opportunities as they progress toward graduation. Graduation is an exciting time of year. Caps and gowns are ordered, invitations are sent, and planning for nearly 1,200 students to walk across the stage is nearly complete. As mentioned in last year's address, we must continue to work to ensure every single student in Cabell County is afforded the opportunity to be successful and graduate with skills that prepare them to enter college or to begin a career. I am proud of the work our educators, counselors, and administrators have done to help improve graduation rates. Cabell Midland High School is commended for attaining a 90% graduation rate this past year. In addition, our Cabell County Career and Technology Center has a record number of students earning a certification and a career credential. We just recognized 119 students for becoming a program completer. This, in and of itself, is truly awesome. I also want to thank our students for their hard work and perseverance this past year. Many of our students face issues beyond the classroom that could put them at risk of dropping out of school. In talking with these students, my administration has identified a need to provide expanded opportunities for these students to demonstrate academic success. Not only have we added more support services through the employment of additional social workers and psychologists, we are also making investments into expanded tutoring and credit recovery programs. One such program that we are adding this year is a new summer school program dedicated to high school seniors that may have fallen short of graduation requirements. This program's aim is to provide students who have not met requirements for graduation summer learning opportunities to retrieve academic credit. In addition, to showcase these students' efforts and achievement, we will conduct Cabell County's first ever summer graduation ceremony in late August to recognize these students and award them their high school diploma. Last year, I highlighted my belief that our district's future is highly dependent on building strong partnerships. As our district and schools continue to engage both our internal and external stakeholders, we realize that these relationships help build a strong direction for the future. I am proud to announce that five of our schools, Central City Elementary, Guyandot Elementary, Spring Hill Elementary, Huntington East Middle School, and Huntington High School have been awarded a Communities and Schools grant, which provides $400,000 to provide staffing for the next two years to build vital partnerships for our students. This grant wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for the vision of our district administrators in the Division of Instruction and Leadership Services and support from the West Virginia Department of Education and Governor Jim Justice. This is the first school year our district has operated under a realigned central office. The realignment of our central office has provided a sound foundation to our renewed focus on putting student learning at the forefront of every decision we make. To that end, our school district's strategic plan was created around four specific goals. These goals were achievement and growth, governance and trust, communication engagement, and organizational excellence. As we reflect upon these strategies and initiatives around each of these goals, I have continued to invite open and honest communication with all of our stakeholders through multiple approaches. This year, I initiated our first ever Superintendent's Student Leadership Council made up of 6th through 12th grade students from across our school district. We met and discussed what is working for students in Cabell County, but also ideas that help improve the learning experiences for all students. In addition, I shouted both students and teachers to gain a refreshed perspective of what it's like to be a Cabell County student or a teacher. And I have to add, I had a blast. The students and teachers were so accommodating and I learned a ton. In addition to getting this type of perspective, it is also important for me to continually monitor and assess our organizational effectiveness and potential communication breakdowns. Therefore, I continue to have meetings with many members of district staff, including principals, teachers, and service personnel. 
I also tremendously value the everyday personal conversations in the field. My administrative team also distributed a major follow-up stakeholder survey called the Technology and Learning Survey. This survey provides essential information about education needs and technology usage that will be utilized as we continue to refine the district's instructional, technology, and staff development plans. Now, let's dig a little deeper into each of our district's four major goals. Achievement and growth. Now that we're at the Cabell County Career and Technology Center, let's dig a little deeper into each of our district's four major goals. I absolutely love visiting our schools and classrooms. In my visits around our district, one thing continues to be abundantly clear. Our teachers and employees are dedicated to the success of our students. Teachers and classroom aides work tirelessly, ensuring students have the resources and learning opportunities they need to be successful. Our school administrators are dedicated to supporting teachers in a meaningful way, and our students are highly respectful and highly motivated to do their best. In reviewing student achievement data, mathematics continues to be a deficiency in our district and the state. Improving mathematic proficiency for all students continues to be a major focus moving forward. As such, I am proud of the fact that Cabell County Schools has joined the West Virginia Math for Life campaign. Cabell's own Math for Life initiative is ramping up to provide amazing opportunities for students and teachers. The Math for Life initiative will institute best practices, challenging instruction, and student engagement strategies to improve students' mathematics achievement. In addition, we must continue our initiative to ensure all students are able to read on grade level by the third grade. As cited last year in a national study, students who don't read proficiently by third grade are four times more likely than proficient readers to leave high school without a diploma. We must continue to make literacy a top priority. Therefore, I am proud of our school district's investment in the Dolly Parton Imagination Library, a book gifting program that mails free, high quality books to children from birth until they begin school, no matter their family income. Working together with the West Virginia Department of Education and Marshall University's June Harless Center, our school district has dedicated more than $25,000 to this initiative. Our school district has also instituted a new literacy focus across all content areas called Newzella. Newzella offers current event stories which are tailor-made for classroom use. The program has two goals. First, it helps students improve reading comprehension and second, it helps keep students current with national and international current events. As an added benefit, Newzella content can be used by every single content area to reinforce reading skills. I am proud to announce that Cabell County students have read more than 263,000 articles, made nearly 3,000 annotations, and have surpassed 45,000 hours of reading utilizing Newzella articles and stories this year alone. This is truly amazing. I am so proud of our students. In addition to our focus on improving academic outcomes, our high schools have been working diligently to improve graduation rates. However, there is much to be done to ensure all students graduate and are college and career ready. I am continuing my challenge to our high schools to surpass the 90% graduation rate and reach 95% within the next four years. We can do it. We must do it. Our students are counting on us. In addressing our graduation rate, one theme has emerged from my conversations with teachers and students. We need to expand opportunities for real-world application and life skills to create pathways for success. Our secondary level administrators, in cooperation with district leaders, have been working diligently to provide new or expanded career and technical courses and programs. We are now offering more advanced career options and certification programs than in previous years. And we are working hard to expand adult education course offerings. Over the course of the past two years, our career and technical programs have been expanded to offer aerospace engineering, coding applications and game design, and to be introduced in the fall of 2019, cosmetology. Over the course of the past two years, I am proud to say that our CTE programs have doubled their enrollment and are graduating more students than ever before. This is a testament to the highly skilled teachers and dedicated administration at our Cabell County Career and Technology Center. Speaking of technology, our school district is committed to making sure all our schools and classrooms have up-to-date technology tools that are essential in a 21st century learning environment. Last year, I asked our technology director to develop a comprehensive five-year technology plan 
that will put appropriate technology tools into the hands of our students and our teachers. As such, and through meaningful stakeholder input, the Cabell County Student Technology Empowerment Plan, or STEP for short, was born. Through the STEP plan, we can enhance instructional delivery by equipping educators and students with technology that personalizes instruction and places greater emphasis on critical thinking and analytical skills. What does this mean for our schools? Within the next two years, every classroom in Cabell County will be outfitted with 65 to 75 inch display screens for instruction. A classroom set of iPads that will afford students the ability to interactively connect with each other and the display screens and updated teacher laptops and other connectivity tools. We also understand that the backbone of our network infrastructure needs to be updated to keep up with the demands of these technology tools. Therefore, we are making a $1.5 million financial investment into high-speed internet cabling and wireless access control points for all schools and classrooms. Communication and engagement. As superintendent, I highly value open and honest communication. As discussed previously, I have asked all stakeholders to provide information, feedback, and perspectives on the school district through several vehicles, including my student and teacher chatting experience and the superintendent's student leadership council. In an effort to prioritize efforts to remove bullying from our schools, we continue to utilize a reporting app called Stop It. Stop It is a digital tool designed to deter and mitigate bullying and cyber abuse by allowing students to make reports via the app. Administrators are then able to respond to those reports in a timely manner. Students and parents continue to have free access to the Stop It mobile app in the coming school year. Our goal with Stop It is to create a safer, kinder school community, both online and offline. You can learn more about the Stop It app and how to make a report by going to your school's website or visiting the Cabell County Schools website, cabellschools.com. Over the course of the past two years, my administration has established an increased focus on school safety. Districts across the country and our own state have had school days interrupted because of threats. The threat of school violence is arguably one of the most concerning issues facing this generation of children and their families. As a result, I charged our district safety director, Tim Stewart, to conduct a safety audit of all of our facilities to identify possible improvements to our buildings and campuses, as well as services provided by contracted school security personnel. In addition to the safety audit, I established a district safety committee headed by Assistant Superintendent Kim Cooper. This committee meets annually to examine current safety measures at our facilities and to identify areas where improvement is needed. These measures include our Alice Intruder Evasion Plans and the more familiar Fire, Tornado and Chemical Disaster Drills. As a result of the audit and recommendations of the safety committee, we are making a significant investment into updating infrastructure to support school safety needs. First, my team has gone to great strides to strengthen our emergency response plan. As a result of this improvement, we have implemented an incident command system also led by Assistant Superintendent Kim Cooper. The incident commander and his team now collaborate monthly with first responder members of the Tri-State Homeland Security Committee to test our plan and suggest needed improvements. This year, our district crisis team, in collaboration with the Tri-State Homeland Security Committee, participated in a full-scale exercise at Huntington High School. From this exercise, the team gained valuable information which has been utilized to strengthen our response and preparation plans. We are currently planning for another exercise next year to further improve our response. Second, we made an investment into a two-way radio system that connects school and district administration to first responders like police, EMS, fire departments, and 911. Should a crisis occur, seconds count. These radios enable responders to become aware of situations immediately. In addition, this technology allows school and district administrators to communicate with first responders during an emergency. Third, our operations team is updating and broadening the footprint of security cameras in all schools. Up until the end of this current school year, we still had four elementary schools in Cabell County that didn't have security cameras. I am excited to announce that we received a grant that will fund state-of-the-art camera systems in each of these schools. Fourth, we are beginning to install safe school entrances in our schools. While this will take several years to complete, we are fortunate that as a result of careful budgeting and the support of the West Virginia School Building Authority, we will have safe school entrances installed at five additional school sites by the time the new school year begins. 
As we look to the future of our school district, we are approaching a significant milestone. The conclusion of our previous 10-year Comprehensive Educational Facilities Plan, otherwise known as the CEFP. The current plan, which is set to expire next year, set the stage for the construction of several elementary schools and the consolidation of our middle schools. As we look to the next 10 years, it is imperative that we take inventory of our facility needs. We need to develop expectations for what our classrooms should look like to facilitate the highest standards of learning, what student capacity issues we could be facing, what maintenance needs we may have, and what our wish list contains for facility and campus improvements. Of course, we can't do all of this alone. We need your input. Stakeholder and community input on the future of our schools is paramount. We are preparing to kick off our CEFP 2020 process in the fall with an Educational Futures Conference. The Educational Futures Conference will set the foundation for our CEFP 2020 work and will be the first of several community meetings designed to give all stakeholders input into our new CEFP 2020 plan. Governance and Trust. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our Board of Education members for their time, energy, and dedication to ensuring Cabell County Schools is headed in the right direction. In thinking about governance and trust, our goal continues to be the establishment and continuation of a productive and trusting working relationship between district administration and our Board of Education members. We have made great progress through consistent communication, clarification of board member and superintendent goals, and transparency in all interactions. I am very blessed to work with a board that is truly engaged and strives to meet the learning, physical, social, and emotional needs of our students. Organizational excellence. My fourth goal has been to improve the delivery of services so that students receive the most benefit. One year ago, we realigned the organization of the district central office. By streamlining services and eliminating duplication, a greater focus has been placed on the district challenges and opportunities, such as improving mathematics performance, and allowing students to participate in more career and technical education classes while simultaneously completing college preparatory courses. Finally, through the cooperative effort of my cabinet level administrators, we have started to reflect on our work and identify what continues to drive us as we work to make Cabell County Schools a world-class school district. Within these discussions, we have started the task of establishing our district's core beliefs and revising our mission and vision statements based upon these renewed values. These new core beliefs, mission, and vision statements will help communicate the values of our school district as we help establish the future direction of our work as we strive to make all Cabell County's public schools places where every student is cared for and given the tools they need to succeed. I would like to close by quoting to you the last stanza of a poem written by Carson Elkins, a fifth grade student at Explore Academy. Carson recited his poem in a presentation that he provided to me this morning. His poem, I Am, demonstrates the tremendous potential for greatness that lies in each and every one of our students. Carson said through his poem, I now understand that success isn't easy. I say, there are no shortcuts for success. I dream of proving doubters wrong. I try my hardest every day to do something amazing. I hope to change the world. If we as a community continue to work together to reach each and every child, Carson's hope that he can someday change the world will become a reality. I truly believe there is greatness in every child. It's just waiting to be revealed. A public education can unlock that potential for every child, for your child. That is why from the boardroom to the classroom, Cabell County Schools is dedicated to the success of every student. Thank you.